The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm in the daytime kitchen with Chef Ed from Dabney S. Lancaster Community College. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me. Yes, and you teach culinary arts. I do. To um, the students there at the Correct. community college. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the program there. Program, we have a two-year associate's degree, and we also have kind of a one-year certificate degree, and we also have a one-year baking and pastry certificate. So it's a great starting point for students to get into the entry-level kind of cooking field, um, and then they can even go on from here to Johnson & Wales and, and some other places. So, That's great. Um, it, it's a nice opportunity for them, that's for sure. Yeah, and you want to you want to grow the program, Absolutely. you say? Yeah, and in sure. what ways? Um, we would just like to try to outreach as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think a lot of people would love to learn how to cook. I think it's a daunting thing mm -hmm. for most people, right, so we'd right. like to try to take the veil away from that. So, and some of the things we're doing today, we hope to show you, you know, just some uh, some, some of the ideas that we do there. I love that. So. All right, so let's get into it. We're making a summer fruit tart. We are, yep. There's a couple recipes and a couple mm -hmm. steps, so let's start with the vanilla pudding. Right, so basically, most people don't even know what a pudding is, and I'm going to ask you, Oh, what's pudding? I, well, I get it at the grocery store. I know, <laughs> and that's the point we try to show people is what actually things are. Yeah. So pudding is pretty simple. It's mm -hmm. pretty much milk that's been sweetened and then flavored and then thickened. Oh, that's it. Okay. So if you kind of learn cooking like that, yeah. then it kind of takes the, the thing away. So over here, okay. we've just got some milk. Okay. Um, and the recipe's on there. I think it's three quarters of a, of a container of milk. We're going to okay. add a little butter just to kind of get a little fat into it to make it uh, yummy and tasty. Again, mm -hmm. when you learn how to cook, you can now adjust these things. Okay. So you guys are talking about kids this week. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to add a lot of sugar into your pudding, then don't you don't have, have to. to add it all in. All and right. this is the kind of thing that I think is great for people to learn. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add about a half a cup, but I'm just not even going to measure it. And again, this is where you would then taste it to okay. see if you enjoyed it or not. Okay. And if you And most kids, when you say pudding, they don't know if it's sweet or not anyway. So yeah, there's a good right. way to reduce the calories just that quickly. I love that. Um, and then we heat it for how long? We're going to heat it till it comes to almost a boil. We're going to add some gelatin, just store-bought gelatin. gelatin in, the, in pudding I thought there Absolutely. was. Absolutely. That thickens okay. it. All okay. Right. So we're going to add that in. We're going to bring that up to a boil, basically. Uh -huh. And then quickly over here, it's a two-step process. I have cornstarch, which mm -hmm. is also going to thicken it. Uh -huh. I'm going to just kind of thin this out a little bit so we don't add the straight liquid to the cornstarch. I'm going to add a couple egg yolks in there, and that's also going to help thicken this. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to temper this. I'm going to take this hot liquid, temper it into here, put okay. it back into the pan, uh -huh. and bring it back up to a boil till it thickens, and you just made pudding. The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... We are back in the daytime kitchen with Chef Ed from Dabney S. Lancaster Community College. And we just got finished our pudding, mm -hmm. which mm. is now done, done. looks like, right? Yep, absolutely. Okay. So all we're going to do is we're going to stick it into an already pre-baked shell. It's a little oh. trick. Okay. Okay. okay you want to always bake your shell so that when you eat it, it's not, you know, soft and mushy. Okay. So this is called blind baking, just some aluminum foil. Here's some beans. We just reuse them all the time. Okay. And that what that what is does? That for weight? Weight, so okay. it doesn't bubble oh. up and have the big air pockets. I was pockets. wondering, I was like, what are those beans for? Right. Okay. So, okay. Got it. And then that all we're going to do is take our homemade pudding and pour it in there. You can see how thick it got yeah. and just in the time, very quick. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I'll take this from you, you want to cool this down a little bit beforehand. And that it. sets it. Now, yeah. this one we did a little differently. We added some almond extract to this. You can make this chocolate pudding. You can make this any flavor you wanted. Okay. All puddings are the same, except for the flavoring. Mm -hmm. So then over here, just to kind of thing, thing uh, and again, this is a great summertime treat that you could use all, all the whole season long. Right. Yeah. So summertime, you can use the fresh berries. This is kind of a little more autumn with, we got some fresh ginger, which is mm -hmm. a wonderful little thing. Mm -hmm. We have some almond extract in the pudding. I I'm gonna take some of this ginger and saute up some peaches in it. You could oh. use plums. You could use any oh. kind of fruit. Okay. And just we're just going to kind of cook this a little bit and let it kind of wilt a second or two. Mm -hmm. We're going to add that right on top of here. Oh, okay. That great. And that's going to do the same thing that this did. So you're just mixing in flavors together. Same so concept. So you can, I mean, the same base. Same base. Uh -huh. But just with the different flavors absolutely. that you're coming up with. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I think that's what is important about learning how to cook yeah. instead right. of just trying to cook. There's right. a big right. difference there about that. And so what we try to teach is what is it? As I said to you earlier, you know, what is pudding? Mm -hmm. Once you understand that it's a milk product that's thickened and then sweetened and then yeah. flavored, 
that kind of takes the guesswork out of it, and it kind of allows you to start to get you know a little bit of confidence in and the kitchen. And then the sky's the limit. And then I the mean, sky's like the you limit, said, right? You can make a summer tart, right. you can make it all yeah, absolutely, tart. Absolutely, right. Make... And you can use what's in your house right. instead of just or what's freshest instead of just kind of following a recipe that somebody else made for you. Right. That might be perfect for winter, but right. not great for summer. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. And then to dress this up, we just took some some almonds and sliced them and, and just kind of toasted them a little bit. Okay. Um, is it just kind of trial and error of what tastes good together? Yes. Because you're I, adding the ginger and you're right. putting almonds. Yeah. I wouldn't know. So if that you know, would little things right. like we like to say, like teach, like like bridge kind of bridge flavors. So there's a little almond extract in the pudding. So putting okay. some almonds on top is just a nice way to sense. have the have a little bridge flavor. Okay. okay. Um, and it's you know same with anything else. If you put basil in something, put it in the sauce too or something, yeah. just so you have a, a common flavor between. Things. You seem like you really love this. Oh sure. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. And long I, have I you think been doing this? And what's your favorite part about it? I've been doing it for over 20 years. It's yeah. all I've ever done. Mm -hmm. yeah. And honestly, as I told you earlier, I think my favorite part is teaching people how to do it. I, I think taking that kind of curtain away and allowing people to again build confidence. Yeah. and learn how to cook, and healthily too. I mean, you know, your segment all week is about children and kids and things, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what a great way to you know, adjust the sugar intakes and you know, the fats and things like that by you learning how to make pudding. I and then helping you gets them to actually eat it. Right, and the right. kids, get them involved in that. That's not hard to make, you know, other than the stove, oh. obviously look at that. But I mean, you know, it's easy for them to make. More than likely, they're gonna eat it yeah. when they're into here. And who doesn't, yeah. who wouldn't want to eat fresh fruit and pudding I together? Know. Look how delicious. beautiful that so, is. All um, right, now if you want to take, we're gonna share this recipe. There's a couple steps to it, but mm -hmm. we'll post it on our website, daytimebluerich.com. But if you're interested in taking classes at Dabney S. Lancaster Community College, reach out to them. There's the website or the phone number and uh, take some classes 